Today, we are in the company of a 350 million year old sun coral fossil. You are now seeing it close up. It is a fossil that was found in Morocco. And of course, it exhibits the same characteristics as sun Its entire anatomy and everything are exactly the same. Now, corals' outer shells, or outer parts, are their skeletal structures. Their skeletons can quantities of minerals, and these minerals gives rise to rocks in the coral today. Each one is a mechanism. What you see in my mind is sun coral. They look in the oceans too, and they look exactly the same today. These organisms come together and build colonies. They are a group of living radiating when we take a portion of their body, the result is two equal parts. And this reveals a manifestation of a symmetry because matrix divides symmetry into a number of different Radial symmetry can be seen in this life form, mashallah. Things can even according to the group with radial symmetry. After learning of the data, we'll move on to a sun coral that was living in Morocco 300 million years ago had stone in my hand. When we compare it with a form that is living today, a sun coral is as We see that it is identical to them, right down to the finest detail. The regions show one life form does not another. Therefore, what Charles Darwin said in the future, if you was untrue. We ourselves of what Darwin said. He wanted to do not see countless transitional forms in fossils. He if these transitional fossils cannot be to every fossil to its counter today, then no species evolved and evolution does not exist. And every fossil is indeed identical of the species if the, the first documented to be identical to how before being if Charles Darwin was document then that was a possible objection to my theory he says and indeed all animals do look this no change has taken place within species paleon explicitly shows that Charles Darwin mistaken.